First, make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl plus J twice. Then double click on the first layer and rename it as High Frequency. After that, double click on the second layer and rename it as Low Frequency. Now select the low frequency layer, then go to the filter menu, choose blur and select Gaussian blur. Adjust the radius value according to the image quality. In my case, the radius of 3.5 works well. Then click OK. After that, hide the high frequency layer. Now select the Mixer Brush tool, then go to Current Brush Load and choose Clean Brush. Next, hold the Alt key to sample the subject's t-shirt colour and apply the brush over the wrinkled areas across the entire t-shirt. Set the following values. Wet may have 81%, Load may have 96%, Mix 90% and Flow 15%. I have chosen these values based on my image, but you should adjust them according to the quality of your picture. Now unhide the high frequency layer and select it. Then go to the image menu and choose apply image. In the apply image settings, set the layer option to low frequency, blending to subtract, opacity to 100%, scale to 2 and offset to 150. Finally click OK. Now select the brush tool and hold the Alt key to pick a color from the image. Then paint over the areas of the shirt where wrinkles are visible, covering the entire shirt. Adjust the brush opacity and flow values as needed.
and I'll go to the blending menu and choose the linear light option. You will notice that all the wrinkles on the shirt are removed. Now select both the high frequency and low frequency layers, then group them by pressing CTL plus G. Rename the group as frequency. Here you can see the before image where the wrinkles are visible and the after image where the wrinkles have been completely removed. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Stay tuned to my channel. Thank you.